Hi, my name is Brandon and I'm 29 years old. My name is Lucy, I am 30 years old and we're based out of Ellicott City, Maryland. And this is Financial Audit. All right, so we'll start with you. What do you do for a living right now? I am a high school art teacher. Ooh, the arts. I studied music in college for a oh, little nice. bit before I decided uh, not, apparently. Uh, what do you What do you make in that position? Um, like, in that position, oh. Um, I believe it's going up to 44, 8 something, 800 something. Um, it just went up this September. From what? From 41,500. And I'm sorry, just one more time for me. Where are you guys based out of? Ellicott City. Uh, I work in Essex, Maryland. Oh, Maryland. In, yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Northeast. Very yeah. expensive. Yeah. $44,000. How long have you been in this position? This is my second year. Okay. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. And what do you do? So I don't really have a job title, but I work with an uh, autistic gentleman who's a few older years older than I am, and I shuttle him back and forth to our work. Uh, Just one person? Mm-hmm. Five days a week, and I usually average about 40 hours a week at $28 an hour. Okay, so just driving this one person back and forth is 40 hours a week? Well, no, I, I drive him to and from work and then complete the work with him. Oh. at the job so oh, very cool what is this i know you said it doesn't have a title but what is a title that this job might be called because i've never heard of it but it's really cool so for context uh i've been working uh with my father in an in-home model train e-commerce business since 2016 i believe and we've been doing that just ever since uh the great financial crisis after everything kind of tanked through the great financial crisis indeed um but I've been doing that with him ever since uh, after he left his original job when he moved to Maryland. And I just kind of picked that up after coming out of high school and doing a little bit of community college business courses and decided to get some more practical experience. So we grew that out. And then about three years ago, uh, this kid that came along with us, his name is Ross, and he just kind of melded with us. He worked with us a couple days a week. And then once COVID hit, then I started working with his parents to say, hey, I can still bring him five days a week over to the shop so he can lead a fulfilling life and he can enjoy himself doing what he does with us. And it's matured into a bit of a so who's paying you the business or so this person's parents? I get paid through the business from a state funded uh, program uh, that works directly with uh, the kid and his parents for a self-directed program. Uh, you think he's living that fulfilling life well with this, you know, you said oh, that was yeah. kind of the intent. Oh yeah. Every day. Cause I mean really the cool. hardest thing for, especially with uh, people of autism to his level of degree is that they just, it's hard finding someone to really work with them or a job that can really give them a fulfilling task. So he's not just sitting there doing the same task over and over again for four or five hours volunteering. Sure. No, he's actually, I'm working with him. He's helping me do tasks. I'm helping him kind of push him a little bit to be a little bit of a better person because he likes to be lazy. He'd rather fall asleep if he wants to, but he loves trains. He loves working with us. We've developed a really great friendship uh, in a relationship with his parents. Parents, and it's just been a really nice thing for the last few years. And if you like trains, you should hit the subscribe button. And if you don't like trains, you should hit the subscribe button because we're trying to get to 750,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I know you guys are, so thank you very much. So saying taking two weeks off a year, that's $56,000 a year. Does that feel about right? Yeah, that'd be about right. Um, so that's- How much money does this train business bring in? I don't really know per se. I don't do all the numbers. That's what my does. father does. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you yeah, inheriting it? I'm kind of in the process of buying it out at this point. Buying, wait, how are you? In, how are you possibly in the process of buying it out without even knowing what it comes in? Yeah. Why would you even start that process if you don't even know what comes in? You'll you'll find out later. Wait, yeah, when what? we start going through our financial statements, you'll find that out. Oh. Okay. Well, what is our financial situation today? Because I know there's some disagreements. There's some disconnect. I think you. Uh, I don't remember. You might be the spender. You might be the debt holder. I'm also the spender. Oh, okay. Well, she used to be the big spender. Yeah, but he kind of cut that off a little bit. Well, he cut that off. So So this wasn't like a joint agreement thing. This was like a... This was more of a, it was more of like a financial coming out party two years ago when we found out all of the um, student debt that she had laid up that I didn't know about. You, you were already married? No. no we, we, were, got, we, we got married two weeks ago. Dating. Yeah, Congratulations. No, it's actually three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I stand um, corrected. Um, no, we were dating like over 
for maybe three years but when it kind of came to light okay mm-hmm. yeah we were dating for a long what do you time. mean it came to light what that look like well when i actually had to start dealing with it and like my parents have been working on it or paying off that's what i thought and then after parents. i graduate yeah and then after i graduate with my master's degree i had to start paying for it masters like, it's always the arts the arts are just they go in that n- a never-ending cycle of degree 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 i got my terminal degree so i don't need to go back to school anytime soon <laughs> you teach high schoolers i do did you need a master's degree to teach high yes, schoolers? Yes, because I don't have a teaching certificate or teaching license. So I what was your bachelor degree in? Studio art with a minor in oh, art history. So I got the master's degree to teach at a private school. So what was the original intent with the bachelor degree? Was to teach or to get into school. or to, I worked at an um, art center for a little bit, and I did well at that. But then I wanted to travel, so I found a job traveling with an art gallery on a cruise ship. And then, yeah, I know. I had a crazy life. Um, and then... That actually sounds pretty cool. It, it, it was a sales job. I'm not a salesperson. Uh, yeah, that's okay. what that's the issue. Yeah. Um, but I learned a lot. Learned that I'm not a salesperson. And then I got to retail, then got into the grad program. Still working through retail while I was there, so... The bachelor degree, was it at a public in-state? No, it was at a liberal arts school. Yeah. And the master's? Was at a uh, art school, so liberal arts, yeah. In Portland, Maine. In Portland, Maine, but we paid that out. We didn't take a loan for that one. So you're gonna change your mind when you see how much it is. Well, though. the loan is just the <laughs> undergrad. What's the financial picture today? Where are we sitting as a couple, and what would we rate ourselves as a couple, zero to ten? So financial situation is we're living pretty cheaply right now. I mean, after I saw all this debt kind of come into the light, I realized that okay, we've a got years a lot ago. to go. Yeah, we'll get into that a little later. But so once we realized that, um, yeah, I realized that we need to really take things down a little bit. There were some other spending habits that we had to pay off to try and kind of balance out the financial relationship. Well, you talked about you a lot. Where's your head? I'm not great financially. I'm not financial literate at all. So, oh, okay. She's yeah. dyslexic. So L- between liter- letters and numbers, it's not very fun. The literacy her. makes sense. But in terms of like, the overall group project of finances. Are you guys not together on this thing? You're officially married he, now. He is in charge. Of we we are. We are now. It was definitely in a very bad place uh, about maybe like, I don't know, seven, eight months to about a little over a year ago, but it's gotten a lot better since. And well, for a financial score, I mean, I don't know. It kind of, it kind of depends whether or not you factor in her debt. So I'm going to oh, say, yeah, I'm going to say like, Why a, would the debt not be a thing The debt's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> It, again, you'll find out more about that later. Um, but I, I give us a four out of ten. Let's find out about four out. Of ten. Okay, let's I find out, out about that now. Then loan balance is at four percent. I see twenty thousand dollars, three thousand four hundred, twenty nine thousand dollars, and forty one thousand dollars. What are those things? Oh, those are student debt. Yeah, this is just student debt. This is page. Oh yeah, no, we have a credit card as well. It's also worth noting that we had a lot of purchases go on that credit card for the wedding. The but the wedding was so, on the last. But most of that, most of that's pretty much gone by now. Why, you guys? Is it you and the last couple from the episode that was just a bloated weddings? Ex- wait, no, two couples ago. Weddings expensive. Yeah, okay, these loan balances are four percent. That's chill. This is a lot of. These are all individual federal student loans. No, no they're all from Sally May. But at four percent, not all of them. Four of them are. The other four are not. There had to, we had to oh. split payments between my pa- my father and i so i pay a portion what? and he pays a portion why does your dad pay because they're the they're ones that his, took it out to begin co-signed with co-signed under him oh they're co-signed mm-hmm. yeah death okay and i think the total minimum monthly payments are around two thousand dollars a month a month because four of the loans are at four percent but the other four are variable interest rates and they're probably close to like 13 and a half oh. almost 14 percent right now i'm like that is absolute death. That's garbage, trash, insane asylum. Jeez, the death. stupid, even the ones at 4% add all the way up to 95 stupid thousand, $52 and 92 cents. So what are the minimum monthly payments? What are the minimum monthly payments for That these? I'm making? Um, it's the 4% ones. I just want to know the 4% ones. What, what are the minimum monthly payments? It is just under those? $600. Yeah. For all those combined? For all four of those. Jeez. For, 
I have nothing against the arts. I have nothing against the arts, <laughs> but this is not the way to do it. I know. <laughs> so, I know. so the original principal amount was $120,000 across these eight loans, mm. but they were all taken out by her parents, not her. She never knew how much was actually taken out. She just went to the school and they said, well, don't worry, we'll help make sure we get paid for. And that was in the form of all the student loans. So she knew there were student loans. She just didn't know how much. A conversation needs to happen around this as a society where the parents' number one goal for their kids is to get into college and nothing else. And it's bad. And then they'll do anything oh, I, in order to make it happen. Yeah, That's why parents shouldn't pay for your school. Well, parents can do whatever the f*** they want, but there just needs to be a different conversation and different understanding around what options are for individuals. It's not a one-size-fits-all situation of everyone going to school. So the 15000 Oh, f***. Okay, one second. The $15,247 at, oh, 14.25%. That's insanity. What's the minimum monthly payment for that? I don't know. We would have to pull out her computer to actually look that up because I wasn't able to generate just a single statement. At some point about four months ago, it went from creating a single statement for all eight loans to like dividing them up. So she would have to actually show you them on her Which computer. Which loan is this? The single $15,247.39 at 14.25. Oh yeah, that's probably on my father's side. I would have to, I know it's like over. What, he pays for that? Only? Only he, he pays for that? The Again, it's, Divided up into two separate. So he pays for a portion. I pay for a portion. So he in the middle. No, no. So he pays more. So she, we're paying the 4% okay. loans right now. I had, uh, there was a conversation that we spoke with them about maybe a little over a year ago, where it's like, look, we can handle the 4% loans right now and we'll pay those off, but we can't handle the balances on the, on the variable interest rate. What loans. does he do? He's a meteorologist for the national weather service. So you make good money. Yeah, he's it's steady. He's also gonna try to retire in a couple of years. You want him retiring with no, this? No, I don't. Because we have other Sally made fifty six thousand nine hundred one dollar ninety three cents at who knows minimum monthly payment probably debt stupidity at fourteen point six two five percent interest rate. I want to take a brief moment to thank today's episode sponsor, Rocket Money. Rocket Money is your all-in-one finance platform that allows you to manage your accounts and track your finances. The app gives you a very clear overview of your income and expenses so that you can get closer to hitting your goals. You can also manage your subscriptions, track your bills, create a custom budget, and grow your savings. With just a tap of the finger, those pesky recurring charges via subscriptions are gone. No more endless calls to cancel those subscriptions that you're not even using. For me, I started way too many trials for streaming services that I've never used after the trials. And thanks to Rocket Money, I was able to see that I'm being charged way too much money and I just canceled them, got them out of my life for good. But that's not all. Rocket Money can also negotiate bills for you. Just upload a picture of your bill and wait for that bill to get lowered. And we also know how important it is to budget. And Rocket Money has that covered too. It tracks my spending, sends me notifications when I'm about to go overboard, and helps me visualize my spend to earn ratio. So if you're ready, to save more and spend less, head to rocketmoney.com forward slash Caleb or check out the link at the top of the description below. There you can kickstart your free trial. Join the 3.4 million members using Rocket Money and to unlock even more features, join Rocket Money Premium. So again, to start for free, that is rocketmoney.com forward slash Caleb. During the two and a half, was it two and a half or three years you were at graduate school? So during that whole time, they had assumed that the loans were paused while she was going to continue her education. They weren't. And so that's why I said originally it was 120000 in original principal, and it ballooned up to about, I think, 165 or 170 something thousand during those few years because debt just continued accruing, interest kept being charged, and it tacked on late payment fees. So yeah, it's a, a it's a it's a total cluster. Okay. I have a Chase card, six thousand nine dollars is what's owed on it now. It was seven thousand three hundred forty. We made a three thousand two hundred thirty five dollar minimum. But then we went and purchased a thousand eight hundred thirty three dollars and thirty cents with fees charge of seventy dollars and sixty three cents. Yep. Why are we financing a lot of things through this? Because you're doing like financing programs through this a lot. Yeah, so minimum the finance the financing programs Same. they were payment um, they were payment plan options where I was calculating the amount of interest that was charged per month and it started getting to the point where it's starting to charge more than one percent per month. So at this point I'm not operating those payment plans anymore. What I was doing I was I was paying off the card every single month um, and the interest savings balance so I could take the remaining cash and then use that for my uh, financial investment portfolio.
So what what's the interest rate on these that are financed? Anywhere between two and a half to maybe six percent, depending on the um, depending on the term, three or six months or twelve. The monthly fees on them? It's flat. So calculated. So it's a flat fee of say three percent for three months. That's one percent per month. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for me, it made sense to finance it out if it was going to be less than what I could invest it for Maybe. at ten percent. The two sense. main ones that are on there, I think they're from FCP Euro, uh, was when I had to do some major uh, maintenance on the vehicle that I purchased last year. You purchased the vehicle last year and you have to do maintenance on it already. What I knew it? I knew it was going to need maintenance. What, what is it? It's a two thousand and five BMW yeah. M three. Yeah. The wine bin, some parking, and rocket rave, cupcakes, some taquitos, some taquitos. Cupcakes some taquitos, was part of the wedding. And yeah. And Pandora, and two Levy. Yeah, you guys still chose to spend that money. Five guys and two Levy again. Levy, Levy. So whatever. this card is and then my we card. Have it's the not fees hers. charge of sixteen dollars, seventeen dollars, twenty two dollars, six dollars, three dollars, three dollars, and seventy dollars. Even if we're zero percent fine. No, they're not zero percent finance, but even low percentage financing. When we're trying to get our finances under control, when we're creating these minimum these fees that are accruing on a monthly basis, it can really stack up and start getting starts making me nervous for like the average American, unless very, very, very disciplined. And we already talked about how the whole household itself is not on like the same plan. So I can actually show you that. So I mean, it gets pay- that balance gets paid off every single month, and that's actually I know, but it still stacks card. up, right? But it's my credit card, so none of that goes to her. You can't blame her for any of that. I'm um, not. But <laughs> currently, well, currently, it's down to about three thousand dollars right now. That's good. Yeah, I make sure I hate interest balance on that thing at twenty. Uh, I think twenty seven point nine nine percent. Like, ugh. no, you ugh. haven't paid interest rates on it. But what you have paid, yeah, but those were for the plans, and that's in stock. I those. know, but what you have paid is two hundred forty dollars and twenty six cents of fees this year. Uh, we have another card now. This card is paid off. Who, whose card is this? Mine. So I know who to blame. This is mine. Well, there's really no nothing to blame here. We did have new purchases, two forty nine, but we don't really two forty one, but we don't really keep balances on this. So we do pay these off. The Pill Club, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and um, some insurance and Home Depot. The Pill Club is my birth control. So okay, yeah, and those are paid off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, it looks like we are uh, we don't accrue any fees or interest here. No interest has been paid uh, this far. Do we have any other debts? Or is it just the student loans? We're just living that student loan life. No, it's basically the student loan life. All right, so go ahead again. here's my student loans. Um, my dad just is laced on a payment because mine are automatically taken out. So, yeah. That's not and good. And you're on this as well, right? Yes, we're both on here. That could f*** your credit. Past two. There's a f- mul- There's three payments past two. Yeah, that's that's on him. <sighs> what? Mm. Why is... They don't. They're, very, they're very kind people. They just get to be forgetful about some things. How old is he? He is 62. He did co-sign... And he encouraged her to go into it. So I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna just put it on you that this is a thing. This is like uh, this is uh, I gotta be able to see. Yeah. Uh, so two twenty three for the fifteen thousand. Okay. So minimum monthly payment for the fifteen thousand one fourteen percent is two. Oh, fuck. nope. I wish. Three thirty two point eight three. Yikes. 20,000, 50,000. And then for the other two high interest ones, dude. How, okay. Straight up. How do you feel that your dad is paying for this? Because this. I don't like it, but I, I know that so I bad. can't afford it because I know I can't pay $2,000 a month. Like, that yeah, would be my about, entire paycheck. It's about sixteen, Yeah, yeah 1600 so which is mm-hmm. wild. I I feel bad, but I, I don't know what else I can do. Yeah. I mean, for your degree. Yeah, I know. That sucks. A degree that he encouraged you to go to the school and he uh, co-signed. So again, the blame is not, I'm not going to put the blame on anyone specifically. It's just like, it's a, it's a hard situation. So yeah. I get it. That's difficult. Certainly we want to get, he wants to retire. Mm-hmm. Um, this isn't an audit on him. I don't know what his finances look like, but I would just be concerned 
having a parent going into retirement paying basically 15% on, what does this add up to? $70,000 of death private student loans. Yeah. Gross. People going into the arts. I'm sorry you are going through this, but thank you for coming on and being an example for many people who are in junior, senior year of high school right now, thinking of what to do and where they want to go and how to pay for college and if they're going to go to college and what, what, what. Glad you have a job in the arts, though, because, of course, a lot of people that I know that I went to school with in the music field, you know, they don't have jobs in the music field. So it's like, I am glad you're at least kind of, are you happy with what you're doing? Yeah, I'm happy what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional. It's okay. You are having like the most normal reaction anyone could have, and it could be worse. You could be fishbowl right now. Like what? No, it's just. And it's it's a it's a good thing that you're feeling this way because it means you at least recognize the situation. One thing you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure the audience knows this. I mean, oh, what you just mentioned was essentially that did a lot of odd jobs in your twenties and you know messing around and stuff like that. What we look at and what the debt and stuff that I talk about and the spending that I talk about is what happened in like the most recent month and where the debt stands today. I am not going to be here. And if I've done it in the past, that's certainly a mistake. But what I am not going to do is sit here and be like, wow, you did this a decade ago. <laughs> well, you're so stupid. No, we're going to talk about where we are today, what we're doing now and what we can do in the future. We can learn from our past, but dude, a decade ago, I was like a dumb piece of I was like a bully in middle school and I was a class. Ew, really? cl yeah. Yeah. Nerdy old me with my glasses, bully middle school. And I was like a, a class clown who didn't give a shit about high school. And I've made right, plenty of endless mistakes in my life. But guess what? That is in the past. We learn from our past and we make up for the mistakes by trying to do better for our own future. You can look back, you can learn. We're not just going to sit and judge ourselves forever. I'm not going to judge you for the past. You hopefully wouldn't judge me for the past. And this is how we go. It's personal growth. That's what this show is all about. So yes, in the moment, absolutely. This number, this is something that we look at right now because this is your present. But the point of this show is to get over this and have a great life of which you will have, especially since we're in a dual income house, this is going to help. This mm -hmm. is going to help a lot. Now, I will say just, especially for the people out there again, if this was just your income, this would be very scary. Okay. okay. Deep breaths. And we'll talk about this afterwards just to make sure what you feel comfortable with and everything like that too, because I want, I want to respect your privacy and comfort and everything like that. Um, in the checking account, we ended with 2,701. That's great. Well, highs, highs pops up everywhere. What's highs? Seven dollars and six. That's a uh, fuel station. station. That is not gas station type refilling money. That's some like taquito. Right so there. the way that I had it set up was that while gas prices were starting to rise, it actually makes sense to purchase along the way as it hikes up. Otherwise, you're waiting for the price to actually be at a higher point and then you end up paying more. So I'm very anal about that. Yes. So you're <laughs> essentially betting the oil market. It worked, it worked pretty well. Like, good. Does it always work every single time? No, but right now fuel prices have stagnated, so we don't have to worry about that. So... That pops up a lot, so to Safeway. So, yeah, okay, that makes sense that this, this, this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, David's bridal, that makes sense for what just happened. Yes. Yep. How much did we spend on this wedding when we have these student loans and credit cards? Um, my parents paid for most of the wedding, and his oh, family nice. paid for most a part of it as well. He paid. And then I paid for the rest. Yeah. How much? So, see, the rehearsal dinner, post-wedding brunch at Guinness um the cake which we turns out we didn't actually need uh, and a couple other things was, i think in total i was in around like maybe like nine ten thousand dollars why no cake need um, we got surprised with a train cake since i'm in the model train business and that was a whole spectacle <laughs> it was really cool all right yeah my dad wanted to surprise him and we can show you pictures later yeah okay yeah you can send us we'll, we'll put it up as you were talking about that if you'd like okay uh, imagination something, 20 bucks. I don't know if that's like a subscription going on. Imagination? What's that? I see. I don't know. Imagination IOC. Kelly's Liquors, some Zells. 
Well, there's a lot of the Sally Mae auto pays. I was like, mm-hmm. oh my goodness, there's so many happening at the same time. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why they do it that way. Why they can't just say Sally Mae and just be the total. It's because it's for each loan, so it's being yeah. transacted separately. Yeah. Okay. Michael's Brightside yeah. Medical. So that's five. actually my last name. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I don't believe that, but medical. Um, oh, no, that's fine. Was that well, bright side pur- was that oh, a bright side purchase? Oh, that's that's my um, therapy. Yeah. Oh, good, very good. Yeah, twenty five bucks. That's fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. For and each just, session, and yeah. I just got on that insurance I now wish, that we're married. Yeah, that, that's covered by yeah my the school that I work at. The insurance is actually pretty good. That's I'm awesome. Lie. Call for entry. That so, <laughs> um. So I've been trying to get back into the art scene since oh, yeah. um, I graduated. I basically took a two-year hiatus due to COVID. Sure. And had no space to work because I was living with his parents. Mm-hmm. And so this school offer basically has the space for me to, yes, work with the kids, but also work on my own stuff. So I found two shows and I got into two shows. Well, I found multiple shows, but I got into two of them. So one is going to be this, no, this month until the end of September. So I'm happy about that one. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, obviously that's what you, you know, it's like your passion is in and stuff like that. And like, I'm all about it. So that's great. Mm Mm-hmm. I think we need to build the budget. And well, actually, before we even build a budget, how have we been on a household budget? We've only been married for three weeks. But where do we stand today when it comes to overall budgeting? So the budget's been fairly well, budgeting is hasn't been hard in the sense that we have a hard, strict budget. It's just simply been cut back, be cheap, cut back, be cheap. Cut back, and try be and cheap. Save. And where does the money go to? So I think we try to spend, well, because we get some tips at some of our uh, other outside source jobs uh, part-time. And so we try to use that for groceries. We try to use that for fuel. No, no, no. Where does the money, you're cutting back on uh, your budget. Where does the extra money go then? To groceries. No. So the extra money that's not being spent on living accommodations, debt, or anything else goes into my financial portfolio, which I have been trying to push very hard for yeah, over yeah. the last couple of years. You're 30. You're 30. I'm 30. You're 29. You're 30. Mm-hmm. What is your retirement account? My retirement account, I have an IRA that I just withdrew out of to put into a different portfolio. Since I didn't have much in it already, I've gotten much better at learning how interest What's your overall work. retirement look like? So right now, between my portfolio, the IRA, and one other contribution that I have to a private business is somewhere in the neighborhood of about fifty-five, fifty-six thousand dollars. How much is in the private business? Uh, about forty-six or forty-eight thousand dollars. Is this the train, the choo-choo? Yeah. But you don't know how much money it makes, but you invested in it? I don't know how much money it makes per se, but I see a lot of the monthly statements on uh, all of our revenues going back and forth. It can pay for a mortgage for a house. I'd also rather not go into our personal finances when it comes towards uh, my father's business. It pays the house that it's under. Mm -hmm. So what's like the equity share that you purchase? I'm not really purchasing an equity share right now. It's just simply um, pure debt holdings. And so we have an agreed 10% APR uh, that's worked out on it right now. Wait. Okay. <laughs> it's a good return. You're matching the S&P pretty much. But why did the business do debt? So the business has been in debt for a while when we first got access to a line of credit and we were starting to build the business. And then it got to a place where it was a little bit unhealthy of the debt. But because the debt was so cheap at the time on the line of credit that I had, it made sense to have all that debt out to be able to grow the business that it was. And now it's in a place where it's chugging along, woo woo, you know, nice and easy right now. So it's it's not worried about a lot of expenses and it's helping to pay for all the bills. It helps pay for what I do. So why um, did it need to take out debt from you? Well, no, so it, we're basically transferring the debt from the bank to me to help me out in the long at run. At a higher interest rate? At a lower interest rate. So I offer I thought a small you said discount. it was at a low interest rate. No, when it was. And then it after- It was variable? Yeah, it's very. It, well, it's on a it's on an established line of credit, so ah, it was around about gotcha. eight to eight and a half percent, I think, a few years ago. And then after That's the low. Fed, okay, <laughs> and then after the Fed started raising interest rates, it's gone up to I think probably around like between uh, eleven, to almost twelve percent now. Certainly, a risk. 
in terms of the vast majority of your portfolio being that. But it is a business that's been around for the last decade plus. So it is. And a lot of businesses have been around the last decade plus that go under at any time. Not saying that as a like, gear, right. but exactly like there is an extra level mm-hmm. of risk of this money versus like right. a general stock market portfolio. And I've done my months. homework on that, and I'm confident where I stand right now, at least with well, that. Well, you better be. But you I do want ninety percent of your portfolio. Into but it. I do, and and part of that is I've it previously I'd never really understood interest rates that much and working out percentages. I mean, I used to be a mathlete, so I couldn't really understand why I never got into it. But I wish I had someone that would teach me how to invest either in the stock market or in your IRA or in yourself. And I've just been learning at an excessive rate for the last couple of years. So I've gotten to a point where now I just want to play catch up. But you only have like 5,000 in the general stock market. Like it was like, right. Something around five. It's around, it's just under 3000 right now. And where the market's going right now, I'm working with my financial advisor and I'm going to determine when I'm going to start throwing lump sums into my IRA. Now Mm -hmm. is the answer. Um, now is always the answer. <laughs> well, that's why I have an appointment scheduled with him next week. That's good. And I'm sure he will say the same unless he's trying to sell you on a specific program that he makes money with. No, he's good. Okay. I hope so. And I assume you are pensioned up. That's yeah. My, my uh, paycheck mostly goes towards, uh, either student loans or the rent. So, but for your retirement, right, your retirement. I, assume oh, you're, you have I a, have some with the school. It's yeah. starting there. Other than that, there's not much. Yeah. So I got to keep working there for quite a bit. No, we'll <clears> get there. We'll get there. So with rent, have we fully combined the household into a singular pile of money? Yep. Lovely. What comes in? You mentioned those extra jobs and stuff. What comes in cash flow monthly basis on average? What hits us post taxes? I'm going to pull that up right now. Yeah. Yeah. So her paycheck comes in every two weeks at twelve twenty eight seventy two. But that might go up next month. Oh yes, right. So I don't. So know I'm going to guess gonna it's be. like uh, probably going to like what thirteen fifty something like that. Yeah. Okay, then you. Looking for mine because I get a couple. Congrats on the raise, by the way. Thank it's you. Exciting. I'm excited by it. So then. Outside of the normal working hours that I do with the business that I get paid for, it's about 300. Why outside? What do you make total? Monthly basis, what hits on average? That's what I'm trying to look for right now. While you're looking, how have the finances affected the overall relationship here? It's been strained, for sure. Yeah, it has. It is the biggest cause of divorce in the country, Mm -hmm. statistically. You know, we're going to do everything in uh, in our power to make sure that is not the financial path we had down. Um, I have, I assume we've made commi- uh, concessions on both sides mm-hmm. financially. Yeah. How have those conversations mm-hmm. gone? Have we ended into like solid agreements and everything? Yeah. Cause um, one of my biggest, uh, my biggest spending category is my hobby. So that car that we mentioned previously, I purchased that as an investment in myself to do more of these track days that I'm into. And it's a high performance driving learning experience for me. And so I eventually, that. no, I'm not cutting it, but I'm volunteering for it more. So instead of having to pay for a track days, I can actually go there, volunteer, help out with their community and get some free track time while building my skill set in myself. So I can become an instructor with them. And you, I what do you mean by like cut back? Like I don't, I don't spend money unless he approves it. So unless he approves. It? Okay, is this healthy? Uh, is this? Do you like this? No, <laughs> I don't. Okay, I don't well, either. We, we need to get to, like, oh, I'm totally okay if like the agreement that a couple is in in a healthy way is okay. You manage the finances. I don't want to. Fuck about it that's totally chill but you just said you don't like it and you also just said you don't so, like it so I, so that's part of the reason why we're here is because i want to yeah. try and figure out like an actual good healthy budget because that's that's where i struggle the most is if i don't see the budget in front of me then i'm just cheap don't spend try to cut back try to sit possible. down together end or beginning of a month and try to build mm-hmm. how have those conversations gone not very far she doesn't want to talk about it much i get emotional it gets stressful. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, uh, yeah. So, on average, every two well, weeks. Well, it's also about- the wedding was a big stressor too. Oh, yeah, sure. that was that was the big stressor because I was like, I need to pay for this, I need to pay for that. And that was originally supposed to be at the end of March, and it ended up being again three weeks ago. And it just so. ends up being a big thing in general. The uh, wedding's yes, a big exactly. thing. So- it was a massive success, though. Everyone was happy. The food was great, and no one had any complaints. 
That's good. Yeah. So again, like that was the, my stressor was the pain for the wedding essentially. Cause I'm like, I want to be able to pay and go out and go to like Michael's and get something that I need. <laughs> Cause I, I, I will craft if I need to. And you know that. So that's done now. It's so done. now we can have those, hopefully those conversations a little better yeah. with the budget. Yeah. Uh, go on. What, what do so you bring in? It's just under $2,000 every two weeks. But so I, I calculate at 1900. I calculate at 1900. We're working with 65,000. Are you W2? Uh, well, how are taxes out, taken out? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Except for when the business pays me and then my state how taxes. How is that? And that's included in this? Mm -hmm. That is included in this? Yeah. How much? It's a little over 1,500 and then just the under business? 400. Yeah, the business pays me about 1,500. And I actually found out that um, when I got a raise through the state program, it may not have taken effect correctly from April. So there might actually be a lot of back pay but coming from in from the me. business, from dad's business, you get paid 1,500? Through the program, yeah. Oh, through the program. Are, are yeah. taxes taken out for that? Federal are, state or not. Okay. It, it's weird. It's weird. Some like weird technicality through payroll or How's, something. Uh, what's the state income tax up there? I don't know, personally. Uh, I think it's around, for our bracket, it's around 4.25 or 4.5%. I would just set that aside on a monthly basis. Yeah. Of the 1500 Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll call, make sure you're doing that. We'll call 633. 63. 6300 We'll just say that's your budget. Mm -hmm. And if it's a little more than that, great. But we'll just say that to be yeah. a little more conservative right now. And we do also Beautiful. have part-time jobs. What is the household... On top of that? Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what's the total household <laughs> income that comes in on a monthly basis? So for her part-time job, it translates out to roughly $400 every two weeks. Okay. And then you? And mine's about $350 every two weeks. Taxes are taken out before yes. for both of these? Yes. Okie dokie. Good. I'm glad you guys are doing that because we're going to need to do it. Now, for mine, though, you're going to want to divide that by two because it's a seasonal job for baseball. So it's only about six months out of the year. Mm. Plus tips. So you're going to set half of it aside then every single month into a savings account mm -hmm. for the other six months and then withdraw Yep, that amount. Well, hopefully not. No, 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 no. So one thing we can do to uh, have the income essentially be like a yearly income is that uh, if it's actually six months, set half of it aside as it comes in and then as the other six months you're not working come in, bring out that other half that you put aside mm -hmm. every single month. So that's that's fine. So what was the right about two fifteen hundred? No, the three fifty every two weeks. So seven hundred. So it'd be three fifty then for the month if you're calculating it from that part time job. Okay, so set half aside. Seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars. That's what we're going with. That's what's happening. That's the number. <laughs> what's your rent? Rent is ten ninety five. Not bad. Jeez, what is this? It is a tiny little first floor of a stone building in Old Town. It was How turned into one. one. It's a studio, mm -hmm. but it's a. it was a full house, but it was converted into a duplex, so mm -hmm. we have an upstairs neighbor. Oh, okay. So it's just a I tiny little... I was going to say, that is some cheap rent, especially. Yeah, the yeah yep, considering that was the my area. first. That was my first inclination. <laughs> well, it's technically also in Baltimore County, mm -hmm. and Ellicott City is in Howard, so it's just over the river. Yep. Oh, gotcha. So that there's a cheaper tax in... Baltimore County oh. than Howard. Car insurances? Car insurance? Oh, I'm gonna have to look that up here because I know because yeah. I know on the BMW that averages out to about one thousand. Because there's three cars. Actually, no, about eighty dollars a month. Oh, it's super yeah. cheap on that car because I have that through uh, I have that through a collectible vehicle status. Um, I know what yours just came down to. You got that down to one ninety eight, I think. And we need to get that cheaper. And then mine's one sixty three. 198, 163 plus, what's 80. the third? Plus 80. Okay, then I'm going to assume an additional 30 for renter's insurance. Okay. 471 a month in car insurances. Gas. How much are we spending on average across the household a month? I have to drive quite a bit for my job, so yeah. I'm the one consuming the most gas. All right, so I'm trying to go over to one of our transactions for a full fill-up so I can get an idea. Because like that's about something. once a week. Yeah, so I'd say for you it's about $200 a month. For me, it's probably closer to at most 100 if I'm not doing track days. 300 okay. So how often are track days? Track days, um, I would calculate that at about once every two months okay. on average. Utilities, then, including... But then you would like go to the gas station and get like who knows how like 
Right, but that's different. Yeah. I don't consider that fuel expenditures. That's part of like what? like fun like what fun and entertainment. Well, so he would like fill like those canisters of gas and just like fill like four or five of them. What if gas is cheap? Yeah. No, I no specifically of ninety three octane because I need that to run on track. Utilities including the internet. Oh, there is no internet. Yeah, it's a phone bill. So the utilities... Um, this lunatic, <laughs> lunatic, This we talked about this off camera, they don't have internet in 2023. They run everything off a of hotspot. That hotspot ran three megabits down here. But that was here. You said it's better there, but even it's still, just seeing there. that, I'm Well, it operates, it operates my phone, her phone, her computer, Only and, when a, you're there. and a smart Only TV. Only when you're there. What if she wants That's to be on the internet? Well, she's out working a lot most of the time, so... Yeah, but really what if matter. you're at work and I'm at the high Then she just comes over to where my work is because that's my parents' <laughs> house and it has Wi-Fi. Uh, okay. So <laughs> you are going to coffee shop. Shop. Okay, so utilities. Um, so the phone plan is $70 a month for both of us, including data plus the hotspot. Okay, 70 for phone. What's utilities, though? Utilities, uh, that averages out to, a, I think, $90 a month. It's a very cheap space to operate. Giving you a food budget of 500 Ooh, that's a lot. If you can cut it, you can, but that's what I'm giving it. And then toilet paper, which is makeup, which is toilet paper, which is shampoo, shaving, blah, 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 blah. 150. Okay. I've uh, literally been using the same shampoo and conditioner for the last seven months. You do therapy once a week? Um, Once a month. Only once a month? Yeah. It's so cheap. I know. But if that's what works for it, you, I mean, it that's works perfect. Like, I get sidetracked. And so, at this point, we, we have might gyms. Be. No. Nope. Okay. All other subscriptions are canceled. Are there any subscriptions we need that I'm not thinking of? Pandora. Whatever. That's the no, only. One. You. That's the only care. one I have because I drive so much. Uh. Uh-uh. Nope. You can listen to an ad every once in a while on Spotify. I will. Um, My friend's trying to get me on Spotify. I'm like, I'm like, I don't care. It's just music. Or listen on YouTube. I, anywhere. I don't care. Just there, there's going to be ads now. Um, other than my birth control, that's like three months, $15 every three months. Every three months. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't even think that's worth putting in the budget. I'm, I'm just saying. No, no, that's perfect though. It's good to know. Is there anything else like that? Um, not that I'm aware of. No. Oh, so part of the budget, um, is, uh, we'll our, put it on 15 divided by three. So, so part so of the budget is, uh, our dog Finley. Oh yeah. We yeah. Have a dog. Yeah. We're going to need that. What about it? Well, you made a mistake by saying your food budget was a lot of money. So. His food is included in that now. That's okay. Uh, but is there something else? Is there ongoing medical? No. He's a healthy three-year-old. Does he have pup insurance? No, he doesn't. I not. recommend it. But I my, really do. But one of my other best friends that I do track this with is the local veterinarian that he goes to see. Oh, you get good discounts? It's not so much discounts, but I get a lot of, uh, I don't want to say free care, but he's able to help, you know, like give me a lot of good recommendation. But what if something bad happens? Like what if he runs off and hits by a car because he's a runner? Or just eat something. Just eat something weird in the yard. Well, he's a border collie, so he better not be dumb enough to do that. (laughs) Well, you never know, dude. They just find Mm -hmm. something that's slightly interesting, and all of a sudden they're like pooping liquid for multiple days, and you're like, I'm I'm going to ask ask my friend about that. Pet insurance is very good. I've saved thousands of dollars on pet insurance. I recommend it. I'm going to put $30 in the budget for that. Thank you. Anything else that is recurring on a monthly basis that you guys must take care of? Okay, so I got... Besides the debt, we're... I need to put that in. Rent, utilities, phone, fuel. I feel like there's something we're missing. I don't know. What's the minimum monthly payment for your credit card as of now? Minimum monthly payment on that? I don't know. I never pay that. There are things that are financed. Right, on payment plans. Yep. But there is not a minimum monthly payment for those. No. Because it's... So you can just have them forever and just pay when you want? No, it just automatically calculates the fee each month, and then it goes into the interest savings balance. Okay, interest savings balance. Yeah, so the interest savings balance is the accumulation of those payment plans that I have to pay off, minus the statements that are currently created. Each month. Each month, okay. Each month, yeah. So what, just on average, how much do you have to pay towards that each month? I don't know, because I just pay it off every month. But... Right now, I'd say it's probably, let me go to the payment plan. We can add up how much they are. There's one, two, there's two with two payments remaining, one with one, no, I'm sorry, two with one payment remaining, and then two with four payments remaining. But I'm probably just going to pay those all off in this next cycle. So everything will just be done? Yeah. Basically. And you'll have nothing? Basically, yeah. Nothing owed ever? Yep. And we're not going to put it in the budget. That was the question. Okay. No, I 
No, it's always my inclination to try. How and much pay it off do you have to pay to pay that whole thing off? Three thousand dollars. Okay. Anything else that is recurring on a monthly basis that you must take care of? Speak now or die. I don't Damn. think so. I think that's everything, right? No, that should be everything. Okay, $3,335 on a monthly basis is what you need in order to survive. How much is in a savings account anywhere? I did not see the savings account. Do we have a savings account? I do have a savings account. How much is in it? I gotta log back in real quick. Between that, so actually, the, another thing I started doing is how I much is in your a, savings account? Total, it's about two thousand. Okay, so first month we take from the seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars that comes in a thousand about two thousand, so uh, one thousand three hundred thirty five dollars into a high yield savings account. Again, I use SoFi personally, uh, four point five percent, but it's up to you. And that will get you to a one-month emergency fund. We have that one-month emergency fund going forward. Then the rest of the money that's in there, yeah, you wipe out that Chase thing that you talked about, that extra money that's left Mm -hmm. over. Okay, lovely. Now, a big conversation needs to happen of what goes on from month number two forward. Student loans. What is our con... What is our mind on this right now? Do we want to just... What's our plan? What was our idea? So my idea for the whole thing was, you know, again, you know, really started curtailing, you know, or spending activities over the last couple of months. I especially because she's been much better. better What's at. the plan? So try and invest like crazy. So that's your plan for the student loans is invest like crazy? Well, because right now trying to pay off the the high uh, the high percentage loans that are on variable interest rates mm-hmm. is not doable for us right now. Disagree. Go ahead. Yeah, and mathematically speaking, you're correct. Get what a, other speaking is there? <laughs> well, they're helping pay for it. That's why. Okay. Do we want them to be? This is what I'm no, trying to ask. I'd no, I'd rather not. Don't okay. want them to. Do you want them to? You do not want them to either? No. So but I also want to get to a financial want... place where we can pay for those and not have to worry about overdoing our budget. That's my, my what do you, What's overdoing concern. your budget? Well, the 50-30-20 rule. Oh, okay. Well, right now, I mean, this is our budget until we get out of debt. Well, this is what I'm asking. I'm just trying to figure out, okay, Chase, Chase credit card's gone first month. We have a one-month emergency fund. Are we willing, do we want to pay off the high-interest student loans, or are we just letting parents do that until they're gone? What is it? Well, we're not going to let them do it until they're gone, but that has... Are we going to attack it or not? <laughs> yes, we're going to attack it. Okay. Then of the seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars minus the three thousand three hundred thirty five dollars that has gone on a monthly basis you have four thousand one hundred four thousand one hundred fifteen dollars very strong and we're working a lot to do it so mad respect there you guys are kicking when, when it comes to that so really good job yes we want to play catch up with the retirement but okay in worst case scenario i hope uh your parents live a very long happy life let's say in a terrible way something bad happens lightning strikes right Okay, then all of a sudden you are 100% forced to be paying on something that's 14.625% interest. And no matter what, the stock market on average has never beaten that across, well, on average, because it's, you know, 8%. Mm-hmm. So there are even S&P 500 with dividends reinvested on average, up years, down years, all combined in history, 10 point something percent. So we want to pay that off. This is what I would do. The $15,247, I'd pay that off in four months, which sounds crazy. Oh, my goodness. We're paying off one of the scary, spooky loans that we thought we could never touch. We're just paying it off. Yes, allow them to do the minimum monthly payments on the two high interest ones, but you just pay it off in four months and it's done. You're making Mm -hmm. the minimum monthly payments on the 4% still, but again, that's included in the budget that we already subtracted from your income. So 4,105 should be three and a half months and it's gone. We're calling it four months. So five months total is where we're at at this point. Then of the 56,900, we'll call it 900 at that point because the interest rate is absolutely insane. Divide that by 4,115. It's going to take a year and two months, and that one's paid off. A year and two months sounds like a long time, but you guys still have decades and decades and decades and decades left. And w- trust me, with the income you have, we're going to get you to a point where you're multimillionaires by retirement. So this is okay to do for a year and three months. So at this time, oop, 
So you're calculating those high interest payments that we would be able to get those done in a year and three months. It's not even the high interest payments. Could. They're making the minimum monthly payments. Right. But you're just paying extra every single cent, $4,115, because gotcha. we're not having any fun money. Parents can take you guys out to eat. That's great. Do that. Other than that, no fun money is being spent. Go have free fun. Uh, should just be working every single second. And that's very difficult. So much easier said than done. But just bringing in as much money as we can gets this process of growth quicker. At this point, we're 19 months in. 19 months in. And the two high interest Sally Mae loans are gone. 19 months in. Yes. <laughs> Your student loans are locked in the, the 9565 or whatever that is. 95000 Yeah. 95000 Yeah, I remember it's a higher it's a higher balance the on the wrong place. it's a higher balance but it's on lower interest rates you ask what high yield savings account i use and that is sofi's high yield savings account the rate recently went up to 4.5 percent and i'm taking advantage of that high rate all day and with bonuses all the way up to 250 dollars when signing up and getting direct deposit i mean i had to take advantage of that and so can you so check out my affiliate link in the description below it's the one i use and you can use it as well the balance <laughs> level itself is just What's the payment plan on this? Like a 20, 30 year? I think we calculated at 20 based yeah. on my calculations. So emotionally, it's going to hold a weight over you. Yes. You can attack it. Mathematically, it makes more sense to invest instead of pay this off early. Mm -hmm. But then there's the third level of this balance is just way too big for the household income. So there's an extra level of risk when it comes to that. So it's more rare than I do with this interest rate. Maybe we're just we're doubling the minimum of the payment, so that's paid off in like ten years. So maybe we're just twelve hundred in mm -hmm. at that point, and then so twelve, so an extra six hundred is minus from the four thousand one hundred fifteen. At this point, in what was it like eighteen months or whatever? I think that's what you said. Yeah. So three thousand five hundred fifteen dollars is left on a monthly basis now because we're just making double towards that. Well, you said a year and three months, so that would be fifteen months. Well, a year and. Three months was paying a year and two months was paying off the second high interest Sally May. There's right. still the five months mm -hmm. before that of paying off the other high, the smaller high interest one, and one month emergency fund. Now, for an gotcha. additional five months, we are saving up to have a six month fully funded household mm -hmm. emergency fund. And how much was the household emergency fund again? Uh, 3,335. Okay, actually. It's a little less now because, well, no, it's never mind because the 600 minimum monthly payments still there. Well, so and I'd probably, I'd probably much. raise it up a little bit too, probably like 4,000 because at some point we're going to have to get into a slightly higher rent situation so we can actually. Okay. We're not doing that until we have a fully funded emergency fund. Once you do, go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, that's like two and a half years though. Yeah. So two and a half years though, and we knocked out the crazy student loans. And the fact is. When we see these student loan balances, $70,000 high interest, $95,000 in the lower interest, that looks like a number to most people that will never be able to be tackled. The fact that we've gotten to the number of two and a half years is actually incredible. That's like almost magic. That is beyond obtainable, and you have so much time left. It's going to lead to stress. I recommend putting in the budget maybe some marriage counseling. It's going to – It's there's not going to be a lot of yeah. fun spending. There's not going to be – you know, there's sacrifices that are being taken. We're working our ass off. And we're getting raises along the way. Hopefully, we can take more distributions from the business as well, mm -hmm. and we can pay this off early. Maybe it goes from two and a half years to two years. Mm -hmm. So there's things we can do, but e even if it's two and a half years of pure sacrifice – with that number, that's a good thing. That should be celebrated. I think for most people, they look at that and that screams like a 30-year thing. Yeah. That's just the framework of my brain, engineering and math. I love it. So that's really good. Now, again, we're making double the minimum monthly payment at that point uh, towards the uh, lower interest one. And so we, now we have $3,500 left on a monthly basis. Let's call it $3,000 left because we increase our rent by 500 in an extreme scenario. So $3,000 mm -hmm. left, two and a half years on a monthly basis. What I'm doing at that point is give yourself a fun budget. It's going to be a little more minimal for a bit. We need to be investing, 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 playing some catch up. We're going to be, you know, for one of you, 32 one of you, 33, depending where we are in this situation, 31, 32, you know, whatever. So you can 50, 30, 20 this thing at that point. <laughs> but we're still making double the minimum monthly payment towards that just very high balance, low interest rate student loans. But we're probably going to want to do minimum 
25% of the household income towards investing minimum, maybe mm-hmm. get that up to 30. Then you can still have 20% on fun, which is awesome, which is awesome. But at that point in two and a half years or well, no, it's another six months to have a fully funded emergency fund, right? Yes, about three. Determine. So three years, three years total, which is still awesome. But three years total, we're like base level. And now is the wealth building phase. And with what you all make, with what you'll make, and if this business is successful, which I hope it is, um, I see you guys being like $3 million by retirement, which is yeah, awesome. That would be nice. But that's just required. Well, the temporary I think, where, sacrifice. I think that's where a lot of the emotion lies in the distress is just simply the fear of the unknown, not knowing like what's on the horizon. You know what helps that? Because that is a big fear. Not having high interest debt mm-hmm. looming over and have a fully funded emergency fund. You have that, then the unknowns become less scary and the risks that are ahead become less risky. Mm-hmm. So you have those and like you truly find just a world of peace. And that's awesome. So this is what I would recommend. This is what I would do because I had, this is with Sally Mae, right? Mm-hmm. I had high interest Sally Mae debt as well. Not this much, but I had high interest Sally Mae debt. But I also had car debt and I had family debt and I had debt, 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 and just credit card debts. I had worse credit, much worse credit card debt than this. I paid it all off. I sacrificed putting the vast majority of my income towards it. Um, and I see what it's like on the other side and it's totally worth it. We're going to get you guys into a house at some point, like an actual home that you're owning and building equity in. That's going to be awesome. We're going to be maxing on our retirement portfolios. We're retiring within our 60s. We're not having to work in our 70s and 80s like many Americans just to survive. You guys have a bright future if you're willing to do the three years of sacrifice that I've laid out here. What do we think about this? As a couple, where's our, where's your, we'll start with you. Where's your head at when it comes to this? It's just, I'm sorry. Um, no, it, I mean, you, you lay it out and it seems so simple and I'm just trying to figure out if we will actually like follow it or. Oh, I'll follow it. <laughs> well, but it doesn't work like that though. Yeah. That, yeah. that, that that's not a healthy marriage. That's a marriage mm-hmm. that ends not being a marriage. So yeah. Again, go ahead. No, it's just, it just, you lay it out and it seems so simple, but I'm like, it's mm-hmm. not that simple. It's always easier said than done. <laughs> yep. This is the, what this requires on a monthly basis. Things are going to ebb and flow. Sometimes your income will be higher and sometimes a little lower. Maybe expenses will pop up here and there. Yeah. So we sit down on a monthly basis and emotions might be charged during the budget conversations. That's okay. That's why I recommend maybe a marriage counselor mm-hmm. once a month as we go through this very difficult process. Um, we're sitting down, we're working as a group, as a team with a objective that we're both agreeing on, a goal that we're both agreeing on and knowing the steps to get there. And we're meeting together once a month and having a budget session for an hour or two. And we're like, okay, this is where we were last month. This is where we adjust. And this is where we go down this path. Perfect scenario. Yes, three years, but maybe it's a four years, four year situation. Again, yeah. with these numbers, four years to me is still an absolute dream. But then mid thirties and like we're set from there, and that's yeah. a pretty incredible thing. Yeah. That's an incredible thing yeah, for a lot of people. There's the massive percentage of Americans hold their student loan debts into their fifties. So, like, mm-hmm. that's not you. No. Where's your head at this? Because you're very like uh, fire under act, going full steam ahead. Get it? And I mean, the biggest place for me is just working on you know, having more effective communication with, you know, with her. Mm-hmm. So that way we can really be on the same page and not just a page that, Hey, this is what we're going to do. It's us communicating and talking with each other. So we can come up with the plan that works for both of us. And one thing I refuse for you to feel, I will not accept it. Don't bring guilt into this. You have the number that is coming into the relationship, but it's done. It happened. Would you do it again? Maybe not. Don't feel guilt. Don't bring the guilt into this conversation. It's not a your fault type situation. Now we're working together as a team to make sure the marriage and our future is in an amazing place eventually. So this isn't a what happened in the past type situation. What, who brought what into the marriage? This is a we're f-ing awesome and we're going to kill it now. Okay. So it's about going forward. I will not accept any guilt. 
No goat. All right, he said it. You gotta follow that now. <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding. There, there are natural react. There are natural emotions, and those are fully acceptable and totally okay. But that's you know, you go to therapy, and yeah. we have the the. Uh, I really do recommend putting in the budget, so like a, at least like a monthly session or something like that with the marriage counselor. So, I really think you guys got this if you follow this. Okay. If you follow this. Now comes communication, comes bring it together, coming together as a team. Three weeks into this marriage officially. Three weeks. Let's extend it three, four, five decades, yeah? Absolutely. I'm going for six. Sure. We're living into our hundreds. Do it. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Learn math and percentages. It's very important and figure out how to use a credit card. It's extremely important. Any final thoughts? Know what you're getting into before you go to college. <laughs> All right, for Brandon and Lucy, it's just going to take a lot of communication, a lot of time, a lot of work. It's going to be a struggle three years, but it is so worth it if they do it. I promise it is so worth it. I just hope they communicate and get through the situation together because they'll have a great future together. For the household, Hammer Financial Score for Brandon and Lucy. Budgeting, spending within the budget, you know, it wasn't that crazy. They were certainly over on some categories and everything, but this one, better than usual, five out of 10, pretty average. Debt, Definitely not good. Nothing in collections, nothing in IRS debt, so it's going to be a 1 out of 10. Emergency fund, not much, but at least there's something there. 2 out of 10. Investing, we're just getting started, and it's a little weird with that business loan, whatever, but a 2 out of 10, just getting started. Real estate, eventually, not now, 0 out of 10. They thought their score would be a 4 out of 10, uh -uh, but it's going to be a 2 out of 10 for their Hammer Financial score. And don't forget to check out the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you a hundred dollars. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my YouTube slash TikTok at and put YouTube Caleb Hammer in the title slash description.